In this video, we're going to continue on with our account control with our crypto manager application that we're writing. In the previous episode, we worked with doing a login, log out, and now we're going to move on to being able to change your password or recover your password. Django actually offers a lot of what you need uh, built in to accomplish this. Specifically, they offer some class-based views new in Django 1.11, and we're going to take a look at actually using those. First, let's uh, jump into GitHub and look at some Django source code. These are some URLs that are provided by Django by default and in order for you to copy and paste to be able to use wherever you want to be able to use it. Notice there's the login and log out at the very top of the list. There is password change and password change done. This is when you want to change your password in, say, a dashboard or a settings area of your website. There's password reset, password reset done. This is where you request to change your password and then it shows you the result hey we've sent an email for you to reset your password then there is reset with a uid and a token so that it uh, properly gives you a url to be able to reset your password and then you have a reset done so once you've done the reset it takes you to a page that says hey your password's been reset please log in these are all provided in django and being able to copy and paste and tweak this uh, really allows us to quickly uh, get our account control system in place. So we're going to go ahead and do that and we're going to run through those real quick. Uh, except we're going to make a tweak and uh, you'll see that here in a second. So we'll open up our URLs. We're going to first do our first URL of password change and it's going to be password change view as view except we're going to send a template name of accounts password change form. So this is going to be the HTML page, the Django template for uh, dealing with changing our password. Now we don't need to set a template name if we just use uh, templates inside of a registration folder in our base templates. However, since I like to put everything into a common place in this, in this case accounts, I wanted to go ahead and set the template name to be accounts password change form. So the question is, where did password change form uh, Django template come from? Well, that actually, we are going to copy and paste that out of Django Contrib admin, who has some registration forms or account control forms that we're going to use, and we're just going to modify as we need it. So in this case, we just have accounts slash password change form. And if we move on to some of the rest, we have password change done, and it has password change done template. We'll just paste into the rest of these. We have our password reset, password reset done, reset, and reset complete. So we have our confirmation and our complete. And note, in each case, we're setting the template name to be accounts and then whatever the template that we're going to use with after that. So with that in mind, we have our URLs in place and we're almost ready to actually start using this system. Let's go ahead and take the next step of actually getting our templates. So we're going to copy our templates from Crypto Manager Virtual Environment. We're going to go into Lib Python 3.6, Site Packages, Django, Contrib, Admin, Templates, Registration. And we're going to copy all the templates out of there and drop them into Account Templates Accounts. So that let's go ahead and ls to see everything in there. We have our login that we had initially. We have logged out, which we don't need. And we have all of our password change and reset pages that we need, including the email template. So with that, since we don't need logged out, let's go ahead and remove that. And now let's take a look at password change form. There's a lot of stuff in here. Note it's extending from admin base site. We don't need that, so we're going to need to change it. We're loading in internationalization and static. We don't necessarily need those for the moment, so we're going to need to remove that. We have extra styles, user links, breadcrumbs a whole bunch of other stuff that we don't really need for our site. We don't need internationalization because it's a personal project. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean these up along with the rest and we'll take a look at this file again here in a second. So now let's open up our change password change form again and now we're extending from base.html which we have. We're getting rid of all the internationalization, we're using the block content and we're just generally doing everything more in line with what we're after doing. So I went through every single template and cleaned them up and I recommend you do the same thing to get the view and look that you're after. So with that, let's go ahead and look at our login.html page and we're going to modify our can't remember password to be the URL for password reset. So that way we can change our password. And then one final step we need to do is go ahead and open up our settings and add an email backend. 
we're going to set our email backend to Django core mail backends console email backend. So that way it actually dumps out our emails to the console. If you put this into production, I recommend you use this email backend and set it to an SMTP. So with that, we're ready to actually start using it. We're going to do a password reset and a password change. So if we run the server and then go into our browser, we're at our login page. We aren't going to log in because we can't remember our password. So let's do can't remember password. Brings us a form so that we can change our password. We're going to add our email address that we registered with our account and click the reset button and we get this message that, hey, we've emailed you if you have an account. Go into a console and copy and paste the URL into the browser. And there we go. We now have a form for setting our new password and confirming the password. So all we have to do is set the new password and change it. And as soon as that's done, we're ready to log in based on the message here. So we're gonna go ahead and log in with our new password. And there we go, we're on our home page. We don't have a home page yet, so it is showing all of our URLs and 404ing. Let's go ahead and change our password back to what it originally was. We'll go to password underscore change URL. And now we're ready to put in our old password that we just changed to, put in our new password to go back to the old one. And now we'll just change password. And there we go, we have our message, your password has been changed, and we're still logged in. So if we go ahead and log out, we can again try to log in with the new password. And there we go, we're successful. So that's it. I mean, that's it in bringing in and creating a login page and being able to log out from our previous video. And then in this to handle the heavy lifting of changing your password and resetting your password. I mean, resetting a password is kind of a pain in the rear or it really can be if you have to code all that out yourself, but Django does the heavy lifting and all we have to do is just figure out how to use it. And in this case, all we did was we brought in the class-based views, we uh, set them to specific URLs, and we even used the URLs that Django gave us as an example in the Django documentate or in the Django code base. And then we just set custom uh, template locations so that we can customize those to fit the look and feel of the rest of our application. It's just really simple over this video and the last video is over is over 10 minutes and we have a full account control system going and a lot of that was me explaining how to do different things so i really recommend that you kind of go with some of the default way of doing the account control inside of django and you're going to have a lot easier of a life i thank you for watching this video please join us next time as we go over registration of new accounts on the website thank you for watching and have a great day